Ooh, I think I want to take my Bronco out for a joyride. Well, let's get to it. Oh man, that sounds so good. So we're just gonna do a little crop scouting, if you would say. I'm gonna take this old uh, 66 Bronco out and have some fun, basically. Maybe find some mud. Never know. Hey, Gina. Oh, I forgot to feed her this morning. Important part of the day. There you go. I don't know why this shut off. Hopefully I don't have any issues with the gas or anything. It's kind of odd it shut off. Man, am I glad I found this old beast. So you can see our soybeans are browning up there. They are not ready. They just are a really low uh, count day. So they still take a little bit to what the heck. Holy cow. Do you see how... I'm not really worried about this thing. It just keeps shutting off on me. Uh, whatever. But this... I waited too long for my alfalfa. I mean, look at this. This is uh, ear height. It's tickling my ears. It's... Oh, man. Oh, well. Well, we're going to have to uh, mow it off today. That's one thing we're going to have to get to. Ooh, man, that's going to be a lot of bales. That is going to be a lot of bales. So that alfalfa field is going to basically feed the county. Man, I just love how this old thing sounds. Now that it's running good and I checked it over, I really want to take it over here to our mud. Just to have a little fun with it. I mean, why not? I mean, if you would have one, I'm sure you would be doing the same thing. So the corn, I know it's uh, starting to golden up, but it's still, it's pretty wet. Ooh, here we got some mud now. Look at us go. So I, I like how this thing has the LED uh, front headlights on it. Man, this thing is fun to drive in the mud. Just wash this thing off. Now I'm gonna have to wash it again, but well, well worth it, I gotta say. Here's our old uh, barn that we bought. I wanted to go over here and uh, check out uh, old Grant's little uh, treat area. I just want to see if this would be good uh, deer hunting ground. I don't know why this field is uh, uh, non-planted here. I don't know if this is summer till or what this is over here. I'm just going to go check this out. Man. You're going to have to have somebody wash it or walk this uh, tree claim to uh, see the deer in this thing or be high, high up in the deer stand. This brush is really high back here. It's a good old little uh, tree claim here. I'm going to have to ask Grant if we can hunt in it. I need to put a tree stand somewhere up in it. I guess it's a little open here in the center. That's kind of nice. So, nice old uh, camping spot, if I have to say. Well, I think we probably should start heading home before uh, we can't see out of our uh, windshield here. Ooh, it's getting muddy in here. Probably need to figure out some type of top to put on this thing so I don't have to uh, go take a shower after I get done mudding. We need to get to uh, cutting down our crazy high alfalfa. Maybe we should uh, like take a stick out there and measure it. Maybe we could be in the Guinness Book of World Records for the highest alfalfa plant ever. I don't know exactly the seed or the type of alfalfa I planted, but I think I planted probably the wrong one. All right, so we'll get, we'll spray this down when the mud is nice and wet still. You don't want to let 
mud dry because otherwise it's a nightmare getting it off. Spray that down. Got to spray inside the cab because it uh, definitely got mud in here. Man, I love that thing. I'm so happy I got it. So, we are going to go over here and get our little Alice Chalmers. I'm hoping it has enough cojones to run this mower. With that big of alfalfa, it's probably going to be uh, definitely given everything it's got. Obviously, we got this thing running, so I got all the vehicles running good, so everything was well maintained. It was just a little neglected for the last few years, but uh, well maintained, all the less. Look how crazy high that stuff is, so the mower, we're gonna have to kind of go slow. It's really giving everything it's got, but this tractor is handling it fairly good I think surprised we're not getting more of a crop back there but oh well surprised I could cut this stuff so quickly but it's going through the mower and I'm not getting bogged down so uh, why go slower I guess I don't really see a reason to go slower I'm hoping I get a pretty good bumper crop off of this but looks like the volume isn't the most I don't know why if it's just really thin in there I don't know you would think this much of alfalfa would just be extremely leafy so I'm doing one lap around the whole outskirts of this land hoping then it can uh, basically mow a little bit better but I cannot believe we're not getting more volume than that out of this, but oh well. Just seems like that that is like extremely high alfalfa. You would basically uh, be uh, oozing it out the back of this chopper, especially going 13 mile an hour. You would just all over the place, huge wind rows, basically having problems with it. The, tractors dragging it around the field everything but oh well I'll take what I get so we are still mowing along here so I got uh, what I don't even know I haven't been counting maybe eight rounds no not that many eight rows at least of uh, swaths here uh, we barely made a dent in this giant field you see our mowers going pretty good there. Uh, it's mowing down this humongous, uh, what I like to call cane field, whatever you want to call this. It is giant though. We're still mowing along here, so you can see we got a fair bit done. Uh, I need to tend this. If you see it, that is really wet, uh, probably because it's like uh, ear high, ear ear tickling high. Uh, but I need to pick up a tether, so I think I'm gonna go 
pick up that. I called one of my relatives and they uh, wanted to go run this thing. So I'm going to have them run it. I'm going to go to the dealer quickly and hopefully pick up a nice little tether for us to use. And then uh, hopefully get that uh, Maline running out here. Have both these old tractors running. That'd be kind of nice. So I was going to take this old truck down there see what we got. So this thing is still a little dirty, but oh well. Uh, I think I'm about possibly uh, giving this thing a paint job. What do you guys think? I don't know. I mean, the canvas is just beautiful. It just got some rust on it. Just got a... It's got some character to it, so I kind of like it, to be honest. But I don't know. Maybe I'd like it all cleaned up, too. I don't know. I think it would look nice all cleaned up. It's really rusty behind the cab here. Looks like this cab was made for uh, basically a non-SS uh, version. I think that's what these are called, considered. But it's a good old truck, I think. Obviously somebody uh, kept up the interior. Looks uh, bone stock, but it is well maintained, that's for sure. So we got a tether. That I purchased at the store. Uh, hopefully it will hook up to this, but we will see. Go to the local case dealership, pick up another non-case item. They sure do sell a lot of random uh, stuff, but I'm glad for it because uh, otherwise I wouldn't be getting good deals on this stuff I buy from them. Man, is our corn high. Ooh, this stuff is really tall right there. Surprise how everybody's uh, ground up so early around here. Looks like uh, Squad's beans over there still uh, are green. That's about the only thing I see that's still green around here other than the grass. Uh, looks like the case dealer is still trying to get rid of their John Deere or combine here. I mean kind of interested in it to be honest. Looks like a good old combine. Got some uh, duels on it. Alright, so this is our tether. Obviously you can see it's right a little bit low, but it works. But we're going to take this back. Uh, Pottinger tether here. Take this back and hopefully get it to work. Uh, hopefully it's got a little bit of squat on this truck, but it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. This truck sure does have some character to it. it sure does have a little squat. Our back tires are really squatting down right now. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to paint this uh, old girl up or not. Think about maybe even changing the color a little bit. Hey, who took my Bronco out for a spin? I just washed that up. What the heck? I'm gonna have to talk to the wife. She definitely went and drove that. I don't really blame her, but she should at least uh, pressure washed it off afterwards. All right, let's unhook this tether here. Yeah, it's a little bit of squat gave to the truck. I'm going to go put this truck back into the, our uh, garage here. Park that right behind the tractor. I was going to try to get to mowing, but nah, that stuff just I got too busy. So I'm going to unhitch this uh, uh, coon mower here. And uh, this ain't a coon. What is this? Uh, Land Pride mower. That's what it is. There we go. Now I think I'm going to try to start up this Malene diesel and start Ted. Hopefully this thing hitches up. Pottinger for some reason look like it has a European hitch on it. Not sure what's going on with that. Alright, we are going here. Hopefully this Malene has enough hydraulics to uh, run this. Oh man. Alright, so it's running it. As you can see, it's really drying out that alfalfa, which is good because uh, it's supposed to rain here really quick and I need it dry. Uh, usually you don't ted alfalfa just because you don't want lead lo or, uh, leaves to loss in the field. 
alfalfa plant is definitely easy to lose the leaves. Usually you have to uh, get a good dew on it, just wet enough just to keep it nice and dew because if, if it ever crunches then you're going to be losing some leaves. But uh, beans it's so wet would we'll probably get away with running like this. This thing, this field, as big as these wind rows are, and this crop, it would never dry out. I'm really impressed by this old Malene. It's pulling this uh, huge pot in here. You see, this thing is really wide, so I don't like to uh, mess around when it comes to tedding. I go big or go home, that's for sure. But this thing is tedding nicely so far. I was a little worried it wouldn't work correctly because it's uh, looks like a European. I don't know how it got over here in the States, but it's working, so we're going to keep running it. This uh, Malene, it's kind of quiet when you're running it, so it's not too bad. Usually some of these uh, open cab uh, tractors, man, they really, you got to put some uh, headphones on or something so you don't lose your hearing or get a headache, one of the two. I know they used to always give me a headache, but I'm weird, so maybe that's just me. But looks like our uh, relative, he's going over there, our cousin, is running that uh, old uh, Alice Chalmers nicely, getting a lot done. So I don't know if I'm going to catch up to her or not. Uh, we're still going here. Uh, got a lot. This is a big field. Hopefully we get a lot of bales off of this. Um, need to feed that uh, feedlot all winter long at least. So going to need a good healthy crop of uh, alfalfa here. Uh, I definitely waited too long for this alfalfa. It's a little stimmy, but uh, ground up it won't be bad. This is definitely not a... Uh, uh, small square quality hay, but it's uh, good for round baling. So small squares is usually your best quality hay. That's your uh, top uh, price you get at the most uh, places you sell. It's just mainly because it's for horses, small farms, tinker farms, stuff like that, hobby farms. Uh, they demand a little bit higher quality uh, hay. And that's why they deal with it on a smaller scale. So that's why you usually get better uh, price on the small square bales per tonnage anyways. So we are still tedding. Uh, looks like I'm catching up to my cousin over there. Uh, we still got a lot of this field left to go. At first, I thought we were, weren't getting that much volume, but man, it's just because we're cutting this so high. Beans uh, alfalfa was uh, so tall, we figured we could cut it higher. Uh, but it's definitely uh, hiding some of the volume in the wind rows, so hoping I get a pretty good crop off of this. Uh, so I basically caught right up to my cousin, so. Uh, he's going around and around, so he definitely, we got a little bit of peace there in the center that we can do, uh, but we just got, yep, just a small little piece. Man, got a lot done so far. I just can't believe we are going to get bales all over the place here. All right, so my... Uh, cousin wanted me to come over here and help her out mowing this around a little pit here. So we're going to jump in here quickly and mow around here. We're going to have to uh, mow or drive over some uh, alfalfa here. Just a little bit. So this is a mud hole we have in the middle of this. Ooh, we're getting deep now. Uh-oh. 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 I don't know. This isn't a four-wheel drive uh, tractor, so it's having a little bit of problems. Oh, man. I got stuck. 
Oh, I better t turn off this uh, mower here. But this thing is stuck. I can't get it out. So I don't know if the mower dug in or what. Oh, man. I should have just kept a little bit around. Thought I could get through. Don't know exactly how we're going to do this. Uh, maybe I'll get my Bronco over here. We'll shut this old uh, Alice Chalmers off. You can see it is just muddy beyond muddy out here so think I'm gonna bring the old Bronco over here and try to pull it out probably but yeah, man it's, it's just gooey mud I can't believe I got it stuck hmm <clears throat> so frustrating when you do that but we got a lot of this mode so far uh, but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.